Well, although U.S. women still trail men and pay, single women are now buying more homes on their own than single men. And they are building up that investment. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joins us with uh, what's behind this trend and some smart sense to help first-time home buyers. Absolutely. You know, 60 years ago, women couldn't even get a mortgage without a male co-signer. Today, single women own 2.7 million more homes than single men. Welcome home. Lacey Lugo is proud to show off the house she just bought by herself. Did you ever think you would do this? No. no How does it feel? Um, empowering. To know that financially and um, you know, physically, it was going to be something that I could do 100% on my own. It was a no-brainer. A single mother, Lugo wanted a stable home for her family. I believe that as a mother, financial and um, physical stability for your children is extremely important. Being able to give them a place to grow and to build equity and invest in their future. The National Association of Realtors reports a home bought in 2011 accumulated an average of $225,000 in housing wealth by 2021. While the majority of homes in the U.S. are purchased by couples, more single women are buying homes than single men, despite that women earn an average of 82 cents to every dollar that a man earns, according to the Pew Research Center. U.S. Census data shows single men own 8.1 million homes, single women 10.7 million. And so you'll see women sit down with a financial advisor and what does that look like to buy a home? Look, what do I need for a down payment? How long do I need? What kind of reserves do I need? What is my monthly payment going to be? And then they'll get into a system where they're budgeting and they're saving because they're going to make this happen. They're going to make a plan and they're going to make it happen. And the purchase can be made easier for many buyers, male, female, or couples, because a 20% down payment is not required for some home loans. Let's get in a home now at 3% down, 3.5%. You've got some money in reserves and now you've got an asset and that's what people need to do in order to build wealth for their family. But can provide a 100% brighter future. It feels very bright like um, capable of doing anything that I set my mind to and um, being able to enjoy the fruits of my labor at the same time. Open the fridge. <laughs> And there are a number of resources to help first time home buyers, including down payment assistance. You got it through the city of Houston, Harris County, the Texas State Affordable Housing Corporation, the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. So I'm putting links to all of these programs for you on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox 26 Houston.com. And then it really seems like regardless of your credit, your income, whatever it may be, the interest rate is still the big issue right now. What's it, up with that? It is. And so many buyers are kind of looking about uh, different ways of handling handling that it is a consideration of course but having good credit a good credit score is very important and here's some other things that some buyers are doing these days according to nerd wallet they're looking at a temporary mortgage rate buy down they're using part of their down payment to pay off other debt uh, home buyer assistance programs asking sellers to finance the purchase or buying a fixer upper so definitely talk to a mortgage broker and a realtor about your options and see what you might be able to work out yeah. Thank Super you. helpful, Heather. Thank you so much as always. You bet.